Hi, let's talk about historical mentoring. Mentors are recommended and almost a necessity for having a successful professional career. They help you build your professional brand. They may share stories of their life and how they overcame obstacles. They'll share their wisdom, knowledge, skills, and expertise. They'll also give you honest feedback and help you with career moves. Bill Gates had Dr. Ed Roberts. Steve Jobs had Robert Freeland. Elon Musk, I'm sure I had somebody cool, but I just like this picture. The other part of mentors, mentoring is everybody's faced with difficult co uh, questions in their lives, on their professional opportunities, on their career paths. A mentor can help you with these decisions. You know, should you take that job or wait for a better opportunity? Should you own your own business or start one on the side? These are all questions people face at one point in their life and a mentor can help you with it. Good mentors have the ability to listen. They share your struggles, your achievements, and your career goals. Successful people plan, and a mentor can help guide your professional goals and your plan. <clears throat> um, they help you stick with your plan when going gets tough. They get you back in focus when you start to drift. They push you when you're feeling too comfortable. They don't tell you all the answers. What they do is help you figure it out for yourself. And that's the way we can use historical mentors. First, learn about the person's professional and personal life, how they made decisions, uh, what made them successful, what did they have to do to become successful, how did they overcome adversity, and most importantly, how did they set setbacks into learning experience. So part of a historical mentor is also learning how to self-reflect. Um, you can reflect on your own experiences. You know, think about what you did, thought, and felt at the time. What did I experience during this conversation or event? What happened inside me during this conversation? So you reflect on your professional experience. <clears throat> then you can reflect on your learning. Um, what does this experience say to me? What did I learn from it? What learning experience can I generate? And then you apply it uh, to your practice. What options do I have next time I run into this situation? Specifically, what do I intend to do based upon my reflection?